Hey man, happy Thursday. So previously we have spoken about getting things wrong and doing things that are contrary to the things I believe and say generally. But I've noticed recently I've done one thing that is an antithesis to this channel, or at least our original idea for the channel, and that's responding to each other. I've noticed over the last few months that I've focused more on my thoughts, feelings, experiences, and things that are going on around me, rather than actually responding to the things that you are talking about. I've been listening, but I've not really been responding in video format. So in order to do that, I've made a few notes. For instance, at 2 minutes 2 seconds, you said, I definitely forgive this Don't Judge a Book by its cover mindset more easily with things than with people, because people are a much more complicated story. And you know, people have narratives and thoughts and feelings and stuff, and a book doesn't. It just sits there, really. That in itself is a really admirable quality, but it's something that I find myself struggling with, even as a community manager who manages very large communities. I still have trouble thinking of people as these complex organisms sometimes. Someone who likes to do deep dives as much as I do, especially with my Stream of Consciousness series, I feel look at people and think, wow. You're a bit of a twat. I'm sure I could have used words that are slightly more highbrow, but I'm just going with that to sum up what I'm thinking. If you yourself manage to go through every single day approaching every single person you meet with that same kind of open-mindedness and willingness to consider them as a multifaceted individual, my hat is off to you, sir. Maybe it's just because I work in retail and some people can be really short and shitty when it comes to people working in retail, or as someone who works with large communities, as mentioned, and there are always people in that community as idealistic and great, brilliant and open-minded as these communities maybe there are always those elements that drag things down just a little bit. I think personally, when you are dealing with so many people day to day, both sort of in a retail setting and an online setting, it's really difficult to maintain that. Because obviously your state of being also affects that. Because the more tired you are, the more short with people you are, the less likely you are to have that level of understanding, at least I think. But then for two thirds of that shift or that day or whatever I'm doing, I tend to be really energetic and enthusiastic. But then as things wind down, I tend to get tired again. And I tend to get short with people and really I lose patience for things. And of course, I may have looked at what you said and your words a little bit too specifically and maybe I've interpreted it slightly wrong, but that is a point of a discussion and a conversation and I hope you will tell me next week. So hopefully in the coming weeks, I can maintain this mindset and try to respond more directly to the things you're saying as opposed to things happening around me. Have a great day, keep mattering, and I will see you, as always, on Monday.